Jason Robertson. Right? All right, just watching your swing for the last couple of weeks. You got a good athletic base to start off with. Guys, first of all, in that set, your stance is great. So just hang, just keep doing that, that stance. And that, okay, with the swing, we always want to achieve balance. With the load stride position, you always want to achieve balance, timing, power. Okay, and your swing, starting with your setup here, stay tall with those hands in the back. You have that tendency for your hands to leak back behind you. And a lot of that, that barrel dropping back behind you, a lot of that is because you're not real aggressive on that back side. You watch that back heel, it's a pushing back towards that catcher. Sometimes it's even worse than that. Really feel that knee starting that swing forward. That was your best one you've had right there. Now duplicate that over and over and over, and that'll help that your hands and barrel go forward. You just have too long of a swing back behind you, but I think if you just fire that, look at that one right there, you had no backside. If you really fire that backside, that'll help those hands continue to go forward. Uh, so we always want to achieve direction. Stance looks great. Setup's good, just stay tall in the back. Then when you, I decide to swing, or when you decide to swing, that backside starts that sucker. That was a pretty good one there. Okay. Two more, Coacher. Okay. Not bad. Good. Okay, hop on out. Okay, so I think, come right over here. So I think a lot of, I know I've talked to you the last couple times about that barrel's getting long behind you. I think most of that is due to that backside. You're somewhat lazy with it. It'll point back towards that catcher or stay on that ground. When you really get to feel a fire in that backside, boom, those hands can go forward. Okay, your swing's good, your stance looks great. Just stay tall in that, that load stride setup. Don't let that front shoulder come up, hands go down. So I'm tall in that attack position. Then from there, I get super aggressive with that backside, and that helps my hands stay tall. Where you're lazy, not lazy, but just inadequate down here, those hands just start to push, and that's when that barrel gets long behind it. So this is directly related to that. Okay, you fire that backside, those hands can come forward. Okay, good job.